uh, Breonna Taylor and how much her name and her story have been on the hearts and minds of players there in the bubble. With the news from Louisville uh, from earlier on Wednesday, how did that resonate there? I mean, it, it reverberated everywhere, Scott. Players were hurting. That, and that's not to say that they didn't expect this. I asked Jalen Brown actually about this yesterday when they declared a state of emergency in and around Louisville. And he said that he was already gearing up for a decision that he disagreed with. So when he was asked about it again after the game, he said, I can't be surprised. But in a way that makes it so clear why he is continuously referred to as a man who is great on the basketball court but will be even greater potentially off of the basketball court. He said, what do you expect about a system, about a system that is rigged against, that was founded on an unfairness against people who look like him and people that look like me? <clears throat> and I'm sorry, that I'm no, getting choked up here no, 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 please. because this is about the players and their response, but it's been hard for them. This is something that, as you mentioned, they fought for the entire time they've been down here and they were hoping for a different outcome. And we've talked before, Scott, about how my job here is, is to objectively cover the truth um, and, and to share what these players are going through. And today what they're going through is, is that they're hurting. And I have prided myself in being able to be objective and cover these sorts of issues. But when it is so clear that the system of objectivity in journalism is so whitewashed and doesn't account for the fact that when I am walking up the hill, my wonderful producer Melinda reminds me that Breonna Taylor was 26 and I am 25 and that could have been me. It is very hard to continue to go to work and that's what these players were feeling. Now, players on both sides, they said that they didn't contemplate not actually playing in this game. They always knew that was something that they were going to do, but that doesn't mean that they were not disappointed in what happened today in Louisville. Bleaky, you got a ton of people that care about you, your family first and foremost, but your ESPN family too, and you're doing incredible work, but, you, but make sure that you got, you're reaching out to the people that can help, and including us. When we're done with this, we're just working, but you know we got your back always. So anything we can do when this segment ends and this show ends, you reach out and we got you, okay? Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you having me on. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.